everyone. Hope you're all doing well. Today I'm going to show you something else that has nothing to do with dual cooking. Depends what, what you use it for. What I have here is, well the Japanese call it zoken and I hope I'm pronouncing that right. And basically it's all leftover material that they put together and they repurpose it rather than throwing it out. Especially if you can't send it to the Salvation Army. I know if something is still good condition, send it out to either the Salvation Army or wherever place you have near where you live that someone that's less fortunate can go and buy it for very little or just get it for free. But sometimes uh, if it gets dirty stained i'll take that material before i just discard it because i'm not going to send that to the salvation army i'll take that material and i'll make something out of it and basically you can make these very durable cloths now this one here uh, if you can see they're all hand stitched you kind of bind them together with uh, hand stitching it makes that piece of material even stronger and the purpose is that you want to do zero waste you really don't want to throw things away nobody wants to wear things with holes in it or has stains on it but here it is this one here I made I made a few for my daughter Erica do you want to get uh, the ones I made you honey my daughter is a clean fanatic if anyone knows my daughter she loves to clean she does have a job <laughs> But let me tell you, in between work, she cleans. So she asked me, she goes, Ma, do you want to put some cloths together and make me some of these Zoken cloths? You could do whatever you want with this to clean your counters. You could lose, use it for dusting. And the purpose of it is that you could take Mitch Match or broken pieces. Like this one here is more than one square. This one has got four in the front and four in the back. But because I put them together with all these stitching, they hold together as one. Those little pieces would normally be thrown away, but because I stitched them together, I'm able to repurpose that material and basically zero waste, guys. So I have an old kind of t-shirt sweatshirt of mine and it looks nice, but it was stained. It was, I had stains on it that you can't even wash out. Some, most of it is either oil while I'm cooking I forget to put on an apron and you get these stains and you really can't really go out and use or wear something like this so what I did was I cut it up and I'm gonna turn this into more cloths for Erica and myself so basically you want to use two cloths because you want it pliable enough that you can use it and not too stiff but you can use any scraps and if they don't match it doesn't matter look the pattern on this one is going this way this one's going this way it really doesn't matter as long as you can repurpose it and you can use it for whatever you want to use it at home here's a few that i made uh, this one was an old uh, bedding this one here is like almost like a fleece type of cloth that I had when I first got married and we're talking over 40 years now guys 44 years 45 years so this one had holes in it I mean I tried to cut them in smaller pieces and use them for something else but eventually the pieces were getting smaller and smaller and that's what I mean by repurposing something that you have so I had dish rags made with this uh, to dry your dishes or your hands so I pretty much have been doing something like that for the longest time the only difference is i didn't put any stitching now can you hand stitch it you uh sorry can you machine machine stitch it yes you can but because it's such a tight stitching uh, most of the time it's going to wear out so by having a larger stitch and it doesn't have to be any kind of pattern you can make your own pattern uh, it doesn't matter here i have zigzag here i have straight However you want to sew it, you sew it. It's your rag, you do what you want. You could get creative and make like swirls. That's up to you. But by having this larger stitch, the rag will last even longer because there isn't that tightness where there's a chance of it ripping. So here's another one that she's been using. And this one is the same material as this. But again, little squares, there's a piece there, a little piece there. But I put it together and now she can dust with this or she could wipe her counters, the toilet seats, whatever. That's up to you what you want to do. The thing is that these rags will now 
have a new life rather than just throwing it away. So later on, I'm going to sew some of these. Probably do it while I'm sitting at my desk when Erica's working. Basically, you want a double layer. You can do triple, but then it's going to get really thick and it might be a little difficult for you to sew it by hand. And it's a matter of just putting stitches and binding these two material together. So maybe I will do brown on one side and tan on the other because I do have this was one t-shirt it was a double color and uh, yeah so we'll see we'll see if I want to do the all brown or all tan or mix or maybe I want to do cotton on one side because this is a little stretchy maybe I'll do some cotton find some old cotton material I have or old shirts that nobody's going to be wearing and maybe do uh, cotton on one side and this is cotton too, but it's more of a knit cotton. This is all cotton, 100% cotton. So this type of material is great if you're cleaning uh, cleaning your house or counters. But isn't this a great idea instead of taking this stuff and saying, you know what, it's done with, let me throw it out. When you could take any little piece you can salvage and put them together and make something new for you to use around the house. And I call that zero waste. I call that better for the environment. And it just, even for my own mind, my sake of mind, I know that I'm not making any uh, destruction on our planet because I'm not just gonna fill this up in the landfill. I'm gonna keep using it till there's like nothing else. It basically, uh, the way the Japanese say they use it till it starts pretty much disintegrating in their hands so uh, just a great way to repurpose stuff and to have rags around the house that you can use to clean your car whatever you want to use it for and because of that stitching it becomes extra extra strong so it's going to last a long long time so there you go so i'm going to say i love you and i'll see you in my next for more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen, give it a thumbs up, and share it with your friends.